hope you're all doing okay. Hello if you are new here, thank you for joining me. Um, so basically I'm just going to get straight into it and the reason I decided to film this video for you guys was because I was fed up of looking like a potato basically so I decided I was going to fake tan and I thought I would just um, film my process for you, take you through all the products I use, talk you through the tan that I use because I feel like, I don't know about you, you're probably thinking you look ridiculous but I feel like I, I achieved like a really nice sort of tan i mean my face in comparison to my hand is pale but that's because i've got no makeup on today and you're like washing your your face so much more i mean yes i wash my body every day but you're putting products on and off your face all the time so it always does come off so much quicker than the rest of your body um but other than that when i have makeup on it does like blend in really nicely and i always think it looks really nice so I thought I would just make one of these videos for you because I have watched uh, quite a few of these before just to see what everyone else does to see what tans they're using um, and to be honest with you I have never ever ever um, changed the fake tan that I use because I just think it's great and it's just so affordable Talking about the tan, I'm just going to talk you through the tan that I use and then I will take you through the process from start to finish about how I like to prepare my skin for my tan and how I apply my tan and the finished product, although this is the finished product, but yeah, you know what I mean. So, the tan that I always have and unless someone can convince me otherwise, I will always continue to use is the classic St. Maurice Tanning Mousse. Um, so this one that I use is actually the fast tanning mousse um, which means you only need to leave it on for up to three hours if you want to achieve like the darker looking tan. Um, I always leave it on for longer because everybody just does but it does say here on the bottle um, three hours if you want the darkest looking tan which I think this tan is just great for if you want to put it on last minute because you're going out somewhere i have done that before in the past i've gone out last minute plans wanted to go out so i popped some tan on and in a couple of hours i was just glowing and no longer a potato so that's uh something that i think is really great about this tan um you don't need to leave it on for hours you don't need to leave it on overnight um i have stopped wearing fake tans overnight because i just don't think it leaves that much of a nice finish on um but i will leave it on for up to about six hours during the day before i do decide to wash it off so yeah saint Maurice tan love it love it love it because it's so cheap it's literally about five pounds i think i mean it's no more than ten pound between five and ten pounds is how much one of these bottles is and it lasts you for such a long time um tans you really quickly and it also smells incredible um i'm not one of those people that dislike the fake tan smell i know it's got a bit of a biscuity smell i know some people think it smells like wet dog i don't know where you got that from huns but it smells like biscuits to me and I, it really doesn't offend me like, I quite like the smell of fake tan like um, that might be weird but I just do but if you don't this product does not smell like normal fake tan um even Matt comes upstairs sometimes about well, all the time when I'm tanning because I get him to tan my back but we'll get into that in a minute um and the first time I was using this he was like oh that smells nice so yeah really nice tan really works really quickly smells really nice and i just think it leaves a nice color i don't know how well it's like showing on the camera but i think it looks nice i've always been happy with the outcome so i can't complain and i also think it applies really nicely it um what's the word it rubs into the skin really well but i also think that has a lot to do with the preparation of your skin beforehand um which is something that normally puts me off tanning i am not a regular tanner 
Um, I really want to try and get into the habit of like keeping up my tan, but I just, uh, I just can't be bothered. I mean, it doesn't take that long in hindsight, if you think about it. Because when I've done it, I'm like, oh, that literally took me five minutes. But it's just the thought of like the preparation, waiting for you to like dry a bit before you can get dressed. Um, but yeah, I really do want to try tanning more frequently because I just don't know about you, but I feel so great with a tan. Like, I feel like my clothes look much nicer on me. I feel skinnier. I feel like I look nicer. Like, it just does something to you, doesn't it? So I'm gonna hopefully try and get into like a better routine with tanning. Um, but if you can't actually be bothered like me to keep up with the routine, I do have something that I use as well. Um, that's a bit of an easier option if you don't wanna go for the full fake tan route. Um, yeah, so that's the tan that I use. Um, I also always make sure I apply it with a tanning mitt. I mean, if you don't use a tanning mitt, then what are you using? Your hands? Because otherwise you're just gonna get bright orange palms. So that's a bit weird. But yeah, always use a tanning mitt and I always try to get the ones that you can put in the wash. So you can use them for a couple of times before having to buy a new one because I feel like the tanning mitt almost costs as much as the tan sometimes and that annoys me so yeah i always try to get like a machine washable one i just literally pick up one of the ones that i can find in the supermarket at the time i'm not really too fussy okay so now i'm gonna start talking you through the tanning process and the products i use um to prepare my skin and what i do to prepare my skin before i actually apply my tan so depending on like when I decide to tan or the circumstances if it's like last minute decision I don't necessarily do this so in depth um but if I just decide to tan out of the blue because I want to be tanned then I will have a shower shave my legs and exfoliate my whole entire body and what I used to do that is a pair of these lovely gloves I do need to get a new pair actually and i always use a body scrub and the one that i use is soap and glory scrub of your life so it's just this one here um there's literally no particular reason why i use this scrub it's just because um over the years i always get um soap and glory products as like a christmas present in like those boxes you get and there's always this in there so i've never really had to go out and buy myself a new body scrub basically um you can literally use whatever you want any body scrub is going to do the job but just make sure you're always using it with these gloves because it just helps scrub off that dead skin and it gives your skin a much smoother feel afterwards so yeah very important especially if you've got fake tan on before um because it just helps scrub off the last bits of tan just to give you such a nice fresh clean base to apply your tan to um body scrub in the shower scrubbing it off with a pair of gloves make make sure you shave your legs if you shave your legs if you don't want to shave your legs you don't have to shave your legs but i just like to shave my legs um and then just make sure all the like the beads beady bits that are in the scrub have all rinsed off properly because you don't want that stuck to your skin once you have got out of the shower and you've dried yourself off, you need to make sure you moisturise your body. Um, this just helps the tan go on so much more smoother, smoothly, smoothly. Um, and also make sure you concentrate on like your drier areas. So your elbows, your hands, your wrists, your ankles, um, places like that where the tan tends to stick to much more. Um, just make sure you take extra care applying moisturiser to there. The moisturiser I'm using at the moment is another Soap and Glory product for the same reason before. And I'm just using the Righteous Butter one here. Um, again, any old moisturiser that you like to do is at, like to use is absolutely fine. It doesn't make a difference just as long as your body is nice and moisturised. Because it does help the tan just sit on your skin so much nicer once i've moisturized my body i like to wait about half an hour 
just to let it sink into my skin a little bit before I do start applying my tan. Um, it just, it just, it's just what I like to do. Okay, and it works for me. So you don't have to follow this step by step. I'm just giving you a guide of how I achieve my look. I like to leave it for about half an hour. So I just literally like shove on a pair of pants and my dressing gown. Walk around the house for a bit until I'm dry, ready to tan, basically. So that is the preparation complete. I don't know if everybody does it like this. If you have other ways that you do it, that works for you, great. But this has worked for me and every time I put my tan on, it's always come out so nicely. And people give me compliments on my tan. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. They do. So it obviously works. Okay, so now into the actual tanning process. Um, I will pop a little video on the side of the screen somewhere or over the top of me, I don't know, wherever it fits. Um, just showing you the process that I take whilst doing my tan. So I always tan in my spare bedroom in front of the big window because I like to have as much light in here as possible to make sure I can see which parts of my body are tanned, if I've missed any bits, if any bits look streaky. Um, and I always stand in front of my mirror so I can like check myself out while I'm doing it. So I always start at my legs, at my feet, and I work my way up. I will squirt about three pumps every time I put it on. That's probably too much, but I just like to make sure it covers every everything as much as it possibly can. So yeah, squirt three times and start rubbing it into my legs, um, making sure I go over my ankles and my feet well enough that I don't have like weird white patches because that is just not a nice look is it although at this time of year your feet don't really matter because are you getting your feet out that much no but definitely in the summer just make sure you take a bit more care of your feet and then you literally just work your way up your body and do your stomach and then i get to my arms um normally do like two pumps on my arms just mix it up a bit my arms aren't as chubby as my legs um but i also like to make sure when I'm doing my tan that I take extra care of my arms because people can just see them more and if you've got like a white streak halfway down your arm it just looks silly doesn't it um but yeah I start on my arms and then I I do my hands um and the hands are a bit like of a they're not tricky but you just need to be a bit careful because you can end up having like what's it looking fingers but I think I don't know what you think, but I think my hands turn out quite okay. So when I'm putting it on, like I make sure like I get all down the sides and in between my fingers. So um, it actually looks like it's supposed to be there on my skin, basically. So that's how I do my hands. And then I just work my way all up my body, over my chest. And then I will call Matt in and he will tan my back for me because you can't really reach your own back very well, can you? Last but I tan is my face. And to tan my face, I use just like one of these makeup brushes. I squirt like the tiniest little bit on here at a time and start like rubbing it in to my face. Um, I know that this literally looks so dark as I'm putting it on. Um, and when I go out, I forget that I've got it on and I just like catch people looking at me like, are you okay? But as I said, it does wash off so much more than the rest of your body, especially when you're putting products on your face all the time. So it, don't worry if you think, oh my God, I look like an Oompa Loompa, you're fine. Like you're absolutely fine. Yeah, once I've done that, then that is literally like my tan complete. I leave it on for about, I don't know, six hours throughout the day. I always just like to put something loose on over the top so I don't feel like I'm sticky. Um, but actually, another thing about this tan is I, it doesn't give you that sticky feeling. Like it dries pretty quickly and when it's dry, like it's dry, you know some tans, like sometimes when you tan, you just feel like you're like sticky, like 24 seven. I don't get that with this. 
So once I've uh, washed the tan off, I then like to moisturize my skin and I moisturize every single day um, because it literally just makes your tan last so much longer. It helps your tan look fresh and um, it does prevent like that, um, like the scaly looking skin you can get, you know, if you don't moisturize for a bit and your tan starts to wash off and then you literally end up looking like a snake. We don't want that. So make sure you moisturize. Again, you can literally just use any moisturizer you want. Um, I will just be using the Soap and Glory Body Butter. But I will, every couple of days, moisturize with a tinted moisturizer. Um, I just find this helps brighten the tan again. If it's starting to look a bit dull, it does make you just look nice and freshly tanned and a bit more golden. So the one that I like to use is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Natural Bronze, this one right here. Um, I really like this because it smells like chocolate <laughs> and um, it's got a really handy pump and it's a really nice like um, consistency. You only need like a little bit and it does really go quite a long way so this lasts a very long time. Um, just make sure like you wash your hands after so you don't have like bright orange palms but yeah every few days I will moisturize with this instead of my normal moisturizer just to make sure I keep up that fresh golden looking tan um, again it just helps your tan last longer um, and then when you decide you want to scrub it all off you literally just follow the process get back in the shower with your scrubbing mitts and your scrub and you scrub your whole little body till you come out looking like a tomato. That is it. This is what I look like after I've washed my tan off and I've had a shower and I've moisturised. My face is pale, as you can see, because it just doesn't stick my face that well. Um, but yeah, that is my tanning routine done. If you want to try some of the products, I will leave them linked in the description box below for you guys so you can go and test them out yourselves if you want to um but yeah other than that that is everything from me today thank you again for watching today's video i really appreciate all the support you were giving me please don't forget to like subscribe share and tell your friends and I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!